But seeing Sabine fight fucking Shin Hadi, who is a hottie, by the way. Now I got a sort of an affliction for golf girls a little bit, but whatever. In that same episode, I saw Ahsoka fight that fucking mask nigga. I don't even know what the fuck his name is. I forgot what his name was. Everybody thought he was an evil idea. No, he's a fucking star killer. No, he was fucking nothing. But the team that put these costumes together, I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers are dripping in the bust down gold. Like, they're looking flawless. Get these fucking guns out of here, bro. I don't want to see Jedi with no fucking ratchets, no toolies, no nothing no fucking blasters give me the lightsaber <laughs> Balon skull when he was scrapping with ahsoka holy shit man that shit was fucking fire youtube was goody today we are gonna chat about the ahsoka series which in my opinion is real nigga star wars shit is back I know the Star Wars community, yes, I'm talking to you, have been hating on Star Wars for a minute. We had Mandalorian season one and two, which was Flame season three, eh, Book of Boba Fett, eh, Obi-Wan mixed reviews, it was either super trash or eh, it was okay. I don't really like the way they portrayed Obi-Wan. Um, it was cool seeing Hayden Christensen again, it was cool seeing Darth Vader, but other than that, the choices on the script direction, writing, everything was just meh. Andor was cool, but I needed that Star Wars. I needed the Jedi. I needed the fight between good and evil as far as, and I know we have dark Jedi now, but Sith, Jedi, evil lightsabers versus good lightsabers. I needed all of that shit. And the Ahsoka series has given it to us. Disney, I need you guys to give the car keys to Dave Filoni because he's literally putting on a masterclass and shutting up a lot of the fans and a lot of the critics for Star Wars by making this fucking breathtaking series that we're fucking watching. Nigga, what? I can't believe a nigga just said breathtaking. Like, either way, the shit slaps. I, I can't really tell which episode is my favorite, either four or five. I mean, four, we have got some of the insane, craziest, best lightsaber duels ever. First, I want to talk about Sabine, and I want to talk about fucking guns as far as Jedi using them. I was totally against Jedi using guns for the longest. I was like, Jedi need to be using the Force, they need to be using their lightsabers, and that's pretty much it. I remember playing Jedi, um, Star Wars Jedi Knights, Jedi Outcast, whatever it is, with that guy Kyle Katarn or whatever, and you kind of, you like, you use guns in that game, and he also had a lightsaber, and I was like, yo, anytime I had a gun, get these fucking guns out of here, bro. Bruh. I don't want to see Jedi with no fucking ratchets, no toolies, no nothing, no fucking blasters. Give me the lightsaber. But then Cal Castus with Star Wars Fallen Order. He had multiple different stances. And one of the stances was you get to hold the blaster and your fucking blade. And then I'm like, yo, I'm never fucking using that stance. It's either a solo fucking blade, dual lightsabers. Maybe I'll use the fucking, uh, what's the cross lightsaber or whatever the shit that Kylo Ren got. Maybe the Darth Maul fucking lightsaber. That shit's actually fly as fuck. I definitely use that. Had a lot of fun fucking killing enemies. But other than that, a fucking blaster? Why the fuck would I ever use that? But then I used it. And I was like, all right, this is, this is cool. It brings a different element. But I don't know. Maybe it was because I was playing a video game and it was just fun. But whatever. I was like, all right, let me brush this off. Let me get back to the roots of being a Jedi. But now I see Sabine. And I, and I don't want to go into, like, the Mandalorians with the dark saber, Like, fuck all that shit. They're not Jedi. Well, how could I consider Sabina Jedi? I don't know. Maybe it's because Ahsoka's actually training her and she kind of dubbed her as a fucking Jedi. Maybe that's it. But seeing Sabine fight fucking Shin Hadi, who is a hottie, by the way. Now I got a sort of an affliction for golf girls a little bit, but whatever. When she was fighting Shin Hadi in episode four and she was bringing out the blasters and then she brought out the lightsaber, I was fucking sold. I was like, all right, this is hard as fuck. 
I need to see Sabine do this a little bit more. In that same episode, I saw Ahsoka fight that fucking mask nigga. I don't even know what the fuck his name is. I forgot what his name was. Everybody thought he was an evil oh, No, he's a fucking it. star killer. No, he was fucking nothing. And then we got to see Ahsoka versus Balon Skull. Balon Skull has looked badass from the first episode. Not even from the first episode, from the first trailer of the Ahsoka series. And I gotta give a shout out to Ray Stevenson. I apologize. I did not know your greatness. I can't think of any villain that I have been more excited for in the Star Wars universe in years than I am for Balon Skull. And that is an testament, a testament, a testament to your acting ability and how you're portraying this character. Rest in peace to the fucking goat. Balon Skull, when he was scrapping with Ahsoka, Holy shit, man. That shit was fucking fire. Ended up clapping Ahsoka, but I was like, yo, I'm cool with it, man. I, I got a fucking dope ass battle between Ahsoka, who is legendary in Star Wars, especially from Clone Wars, obviously. To now we got this new character who is giving very, very good Sith vibes, even though he's not a Sith, he's a dark uh, Jedi, whatever you guys want to call him. But either way, it was fucking fire. Then the next episode, holy shit, seeing fucking Anakin again. Clone Wars Anakin in the live action? He needs to get more respect. Put more respect on the boy's name, man. He was fucking killing it. That last training sequence between Ahsoka and fucking Anakin? And then Ahsoka basically going back in time to her first fucking Clone Wars battle? But obviously it was like the Clone Wars like size Ahsoka. She was like a kid, but it was almost like a vision for the older Ahsoka. And that actress who played young Ahsoka also played young Gamora. She was in the Barbie movie. She's in fucking billion dollar franchises. Collect your residuals. Collect them. She is definitely rolling in the dough right now. And also she's playing some fucking legendary fucking characters. But yes, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I need to see a live action Clone Wars, whether it's like a movie or maybe like a, a two part episode or some shit from a mission that maybe we didn't see in the regular, obviously animated Clone Wars. But I need to see it because seeing Anakin, seeing Ahsoka, I would love to see a different rendition on, on Yoda. Um, I would like to fucking see Obi-Wan again and just the, the fucking clones. I mean, just that whole sequence in episode five was fucking amazing. And we're just getting fed this whole fucking series. Like we saw Thrawn finally live action. We saw him in his Chimera ship. This shit looked fucking like it got a couple of upgrades. It looks like it was damaged back from the Rebels series. Like, like that last few episodes when fucking Ezra fucking got the whales to teleport them to this specific planet that they're at right now. But between the ship and the fucking stormtroopers and their new fucking repaired outfits or whatever, the fucking design crew, the aesthetic, the fucking, I don't even know what the fuck to call it, but the team that put these costumes together, give them a motherfucking raise because that shit was fucking amazing. I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers are dripping in the bust down gold. Like, they're looking flawless. I think one of Thrones lieutenants, I'm not sure who that is. They may have said it in, in the fucking series, but, like, my mind's blown. There's a lot of information. But him having, like, the gold face looking like he's from, like, Chronicles of Riddick or, or Gladiator, that shit is hard as fuck. And in episode seven, we get to see, obviously, Ezra, and we get to see him in action. And it's cool seeing Ezra, and it's cool seeing, and I forget the actor who fucking plays him, but he's portraying Ezra, and I feel like I'm watching Rebels. It's fucking great. I love that he looks like a fucking historically accurate Jesus. I saw that going around. That's just fucking funny. It's like now we got white Jesus with fucking Obi-Wan, and we got fucking Middle Eastern Jesus with fucking Ezra. Shit was fucking dope. There was a cool scene when Shin Hadi rolled up with the fucking stormtroopers. They also had some other fucking, um, there's like these raiders that's on this planet, and they kind of circle Ezra and these like little fucking... Uh, what's some shits that you see at the beach? Fucking hermit crabs or whatever. These type of people and Sabine is there. And Sabine's trying to give the lightsaber to Ezra. And Ezra's like, nah, I gave that shit to you. And Sabine's like, yo, I got mad weapons. Like, you could use this shit. He's like, nah, I got this. And we get to see Ezra fighting with the force. My mo This motherfucker was looking like Neo. He was kicking ass. I remember there was one part when Shin Hadi came up to Ezra. And he was like, yo, I don't need nothing to beat you. And he just literally, like 
molly walked her with the force and then he ended up getting thrown too we got to see ahsoka fight balon again ahsoka the white now because after she went through her training now she's like gandalf when he fucking beat the balrog show yourself oh my god look there's so much shit that is fire about this series and i am upset i'm upset that we're on the fucking last episode I don't know where they're going to take this. I don't know what they're going to do. I was kind of calling some things, but then there were things that just like totally took me for a loop that I would have never fucking guessed. This shit has been fucking fire. I want to see what the last episode is going to be. Follow me and let me know in the comments. What do you suspect? What do you think is going to happen? Um, and then also we got some new fucking Star Wars series coming out. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be tough for these new series to top what they're doing with Ahsoka. Um, they got to do some fucking old republic or, or or high republic like some shit like way way back that we've never even seen before and we're really gonna see the wars between the sith and the jedi like we gotta see some shit like that because it's gonna be tough for them to fucking top the ahsoka series but um other than that i appreciate you guys like comment and subscribe to the youtube channel other than that i will see you guys for the next vid deuces